Hello! I'm finally back. How's everyone doing? I hope you had a good November. Sorry I wasn't around for most of it. I was very, very busy. But we're back now, and we have... If it'll load up on the stream, if it'll load up on the stream. Come on. Come on, you were loading earlier. What if I go to options? Go back. And maybe turn down the volume on that a little bit actually because it's a little loud. Come on. Come on, I tested this before I started. You were working then. Properties, thief, pick. Yeah, no, I can see it. I can see there's no picture. <laughs> it was working a second ago. It was working before I hit go live. Properties, set it to YouTube Studio, why not? Ignore that for a moment. Of course, of course, no, it's fine. What if I play the original game? Just normal thief. Go into the alternative. Window capture. Cancel that. Come back. Properties. Ah, uh, it shouldn't be this hard. It was working earlier. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, no, I was muttering to myself. Sorry about that. And it's not so much speak louder as it is speak into the mic. I was turned away. But there we go. Look, picture. We got it. Now, if I just alt-tab out of here, hopefully it'll stay up. Okay, there we go. There we go. I... Well, okay, so our, here's how it works. Originally, American. But, Ireland for my entire life. Now, why do I still sound American? I don't know, and it's annoying. I just, I don't know, I never lost the accent. But, I am Irish. About as Irish as anyone can be. So... Also, welcome. Hi. Sorry, I didn't say hi earlier. How are you two doing? We have... Thief. Gold. A really... And... A, a, a really anticipated for a long time fan mission, Black Parade. I've been hearing about this for years. 
and it's finally out. And it's it's not just a single mission either, it's a whole campaign. Which we don't get a lot of. Which is, you know, I, I understand. Campaigns are a lot more work than just one mission, but I, I'm so glad we finally have another one. So I haven't really looked into any of this. I started it up, new game, skipped the cutscene just to make sure everything was working, and it was. So, I'm going to shut up for a minute and we're going to watch the cutscene because in addition to this being a campaign... Oh, how much is, how much is that? 31, 31, 31 months. God damn it. Hey Toasty, how you doing? Man, I've been doing this for a while. Yeah, so, in addition to it being a campaign, it has actual cutscenes like classic style thief flash animation type of things I might still turn the game volume down a little bit the menu is fairly noisy the actual game probably won't be so we'll find out the passage of time is as unrelenting and is ever present that's it, you're feeling art. That's good. Nice to have just a little bit of existentialism at the end of a week, right? Alright. New game. Expert. Start. I've never liked the city, but it's the only place I would ever call home. I was sold into forced labor when I was a kid, working in dilapidated manufactories and workshops. I guess I would have lived my whole life like that, had I not been good enough a sneak as to join the Guild of Thieves and Assassins a few years later, taking a few jobs ranging from street muggings to infiltrating posh estates. For the first time in my life, I felt I was good at something. I once stole a little trinket that reacts to light, and I was able to go anywhere unnoticed with it. But I was careless, and that won me a seven-year exile to the ore mines in the mountain ranges up north. It could have been worse. I could have ended up in Crag's Cleft and lost a limb to the Hammerite's brand of justice. It took me years to escape, but now I'm back. Everything has changed. I recognize nothing. These old streets that once seemed familiar are now darker and more twisted. And by the looks of it, the city has become even more dangerous than it was before. The hammers prowl the streets like ravens looking for eyes to pluck. And rogues haunt the narrow back streets like rats. I need money, food, and a place to crash. So naturally, I need to find my old associate, Dahlquist. We used to operate from a small borough within Newmarket called White Bell, and I've heard that nowadays he runs an orphanage of some sort. White Bell is closed at night, so I'll have to sneak around and get past the gate that separates South Quarter and Newmarket. The police in South Quarter shouldn't bother me as long as I don't do anything illegal and go somewhere I'm not supposed to. But I should be wary of the coppers in White Bell. Thankfully, they're not too sharp, and they don't really venture too much in the darkest areas of the district, where most of White Bell's finest thugs live. Slipping by these guys unnoticed shouldn't be too difficult, and it'll be a nice training if I want to resume my life of crime. Did the Baron's dog's bodies think that my forced toil was going to put an end to my activity? I'll be back in business soon enough. Oh, good. 
I love it. I love it so much. I am going to turn the game down a little bit and maybe myself as well, just because I noticed the mic was picking stuff up. I don't know if that was coming through. Hopefully not. Okay. Hopefully with the sound balancing done and me speaking back into the mic again, that should hopefully be it. Yeah. Yeah, so. Proper cutscenes. We're not playing as Garrett, if you noticed. I forget the name of this guy, but it's someone else. Not a keeper, just a normal, normal thief. Like the name of the game. Return to the city. Find a way around the gate separating South Quarter and New Market and get into the New Market's White Bell District. Once in White Belt, find your old associate Sebastian Dalquist. He apparently runs an orphanage of some sort somewhere here. You'll need quite a sum of money if you want to survive 850. Easy enough. Last thing you want is any more attention to yourself. Don't kill anyone. Perfect. So this this fan campaign comes with a whole bunch of new stuff. Like new AI and new animations, I think. Bills of morality. The city's dreadful something or other. Hmm. Oh. Hello there, guard. Yeah, so it's surprising that this is built on Thief Gold rather than Thief 2. I know a lot of people prefer Thief Gold to Thief 2, which is, you know, that's fair. Thief Gold is excellent. You don't... Oh, thank God, you don't just stay there. And you know what, Toasty? That is absolutely fair. Like, my favorite part about Thief is how it's a very low fantasy. Which Thief 2 definitely is more than Thief 1. I'm gonna walk about with the DP on my mouse. It's honestly a bit high for this, I think. Okay, better. So I've heard that... Oh yeah, no, don't worry about... Don't worry about this being over too soon, Jen. This is... I, I don't know how many missions this is, but it's... You know, it's more than two or three. It should be... Fairly easy to make this a multi-session game. We're not going to be getting anywhere near the end of this in one go. Gorgeous. Like it already just feels very thiefy, but very modern thiefy. I don't know if I wished we'd have a lore explanation for what the lunar collector things are, or if I'm happy or just having absolutely no idea what they're for. I think, I think I do actually prefer just not knowing anything about them. Where are we going? We start here. No auto map? Jesus, this place is huge. Yeah. I mean, maybe they do something different during the day. I don't think we've ever seen them during the day. 
There's not very many day missions. So, yeah, it looks like we can head, looks like we're basically heading straight north. You know, as straight north as we can get. Pawn shop, probably worth a stop here. So, sort of west and probably, yeah, we're here. Smokestack Street, pub. Don't know what the little cog is for. Cater Mole Manor. Lucrative score. Abandoned old factory. Definitely going to have to check that. Yeah, that was heavily guarded, so obviously we're supposed to go around this. Probably like that. Smokestack Street. You know, no, I I assume the guards will just recognize me automatically and not like me. that was going to be shit <coughs> I was kind of hoping that it'd be like a jump scare like I see you there and then the other guy responds or something is that a horse holy shit that's a horse horse is coming straight for me okay, let me just get out of your way Is that, a, is that a person doing the horse noises? I feel like that's a person doing the horse noises. I miss the good old days, where we had enough equipment to smash these guys up there. Ah, uh, well, that's what you get with that Baron and his stupid war. Seriously, we can't even get close to White Bell anymore. Everybody knows it's full of rogues, and we can't even do our job. You really want to team up with these White Ball losers? They don't even have uniforms. Oh, excuse me, mister. I do the least amount of work, and I just worry about my pay. I find myself having more consideration for my task than you do. I'd like to teach those tappers what real police brutality is, so they haunt another part of town. Psh, at least this keeps me from ending up in a gutter. I'm gonna, gonna take that opportunity to Yeah, there you go. Where are you going? You're going there. What about the other guy? There is also meant to be subtitles. Well, all right. Dum -da -dum -dum -da. It'd be real nice if that guy could turn around. Uh... Say, have you seen Alan tonight? Dunno. Probably drunk at the tavern. Fat bastard. Is that, is that like an Oblivion style dynamic conversation? Oh, that's cute. Okay, I don't fancy my chances going this way. But no, that guy's staring directly at me, so I'm just gonna run over here. And we'll see if we can get around somehow. It'd be helpful if I could see. Uh, 
man hasn't really done it, but all right. very heavily guarded by one person. There's your man with the horse. Yeah, we're not getting through there. Well, no point in trying to open that gate. I need to find a way around it. That's fair. up would be handy, but I don't see anywhere to go. Yep, literally just starting out. Hey, Broken Arts, how you doing? I was trying to get around this guy without, well, I mean, I alerted him once and I think that's the problem. I think I messed up his AI. Unless there's a very obvious second way around him. Do I have? Yeah, doing all right. Moss, water, broadhead. Could shoot a broadhead. Hmm. I'm loving it so far. I just gotta think. All right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with broadhead. Let's see if I can get into the shadow. Or just back around here. Yeah. You helped test it. Nice. Okay. He didn't didn't care about that. It was too quiet and too far away, I guess. Yeah, I've heard there's some AI different, like there's some changes to the AI that can do more stuff now. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Hey Cyrus, how you doing? We're doing thiefy stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I'm... I'm just kind of assuming that everyone's been playing this today. <laughs> if they didn't already start yesterday. Yep, yeah, sometimes wait for them to do stuff. I was... I have been waiting a little while for this guy to do anything, and he hasn't shifted. The archer has, which is fine. I think... I think I'm to blame for this. I got caught coming up a little bit before they had their conversation. As a first FM, that's pretty good. My first FM was actually Thief 2X. Definitely recommend starting with the campaigns. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's not he's not going. That was your last chance. Yeah, I'm sorry about this. I don't I don't like doing this. But he was not moving. Leaf 2X is a masterpiece that I should really go back to play again on stream at some point. Okay, body blocking my way now. Save, thank you, Jen. I wasn't on the internet very much while it was still in development, or I, I would have been there with you. That is this. Not completely lit. Oh, yeah. 
We don't have our... Okay. Gonna wait for him to come back. He's gonna stand there for a bit and I'll just go around. Oh, no. Okay. He goes further off that way. No, no, he doesn't. That's a sword. That's a different guy. There's a nice bit of shadow there. Perfect. Just trying to figure out where they're going. There he is. How you doing? I forgot to check if you come anywhere near here. No, you don't. Perfect. Sure. Felonies committed and misadventures that happened within the Ward of Cellar Master's Fair, and a proclamation made against the vagrants of Whitebell. Be it remembered that on Steam's Day, right after the Mass of St. Aaron, Jerome the Coppermonger was arrested for selling one hundred and a half worth of copperware made of strange foreign metals. Jerome the Coppermonger. Strange foreign metals may be worth something? Probably not. Probably just background info. Joyce, wife of Dobrinon, shall be put up put upon the cucking stool stool on the twenty seventh of Sains for making a false charge against Marjorie Lagrange, fruitress, fruitress, accusing her of practicing pagan sorcery and palm reading. The infamous John Hartsman was arrested and shall be transferred to Cragscliff Prison for disrespect and blasphemy against the goodly Father Rogerus of the Hammerite Church. For as much as many able-bodied men and women who shall be working but have beaten betaken themselves out of Whitebell into the district of Runswick and went about begging there to the great damage of the commons and did waste various alms which would have otherwise been given to many poor folks such as the blind, orphans, persons oppressed with old age, and various other maladies, shall hereby leave the district of Runswick between this very day and the month of Vindemia on behalf of our lord the baron whom the builder may preserve and bless. If any such folk should be found begging after the day aforesaid, they shall be taken and put into the pillory for half a day the first time, shall remain in the stocks a whole day the second time, and shall be taken and shall remain in Pavelock for forty days the third time. Every lawman in the district of Runswick is empowered to arrest such manner of folk. Signed, Thomas Marsham, Alderman of Cellar Master's Fair Ward in the twenty-fourth year of the reign of Baron Bresling. Won't bother doing the Roman numerals. Baron Brett, we've never gotten his name before, right? That's just a fan name. Hear all, hear all, let it be known that the judgment of the miscreant Gilel Sharuli, guilty of the following hideous crimes, poisoning the most venerable Lord Phineas Grand Modin, and conspiracy against the Baron and the city, and cetera, has been passed, and the good judges of Aldale have decided on his fate after a fair and just trial. The miscreant shall be hanged till half death at Pavelock Square, Stone Market, on the first Hammer's Day of Vindemia, on the first toll out of the afternoon. Then drawn to St. Edgar's Plaza, Stone Market, and therefore quartered till death follows. His head and quarters shall be displayed on a pike for fourteen days on Baron's Gate as a fair warning to the city's enemies. The honest folk of our fair city are encouraged to attend this event and sandwiches will be provided. Thusly declared and written, Captain Pearsall of the Baron's Police. <clears throat> okay, fun. Can someone get this tapping drunken in the garden to shut up? I'm trying to sleep. 
sleeping here. Where are you trying to sleep? A lot of locked doors and no way to open them. Oh, does somebody need to be shut up? Somebody needs to be shut up. <laughs> You're welcome. It's our boy Benny. Or somebody that sounds an awful lot like him. Alright, so public works key. No, I wouldn't have thought so. Figured. Probably nothing up here, though. <sighs> no, and that's fine. I'm just happy we can. They are talking to each other. That's so cool. Like they didn't do that in the original game, right? I'm not just I'm not just praising it for something it's always done. I'm trying to think if I've ever have I ever heard them talk to each other outside of scripted events? Maybe. But maybe I'm thinking of a different game. They did a little bit. Okay. Yeah, they definitely talk to each other in scripted bits. Like, they wouldn't have gotten the bear pits if not. Well, only one way to figure this out is to play through the entirety of Thief Gold and Thief 2 all over again. I should have done something about my mouse DPI before I played this game because it is far too high. Which I normally like, but it does have me spinning out of control whenever I have to move my hand around. Okay, your man's over there, right? Oh, yeah, he's over there. Yeah, it's a fake door. Can't do anything about that. I'm hearing jaunty music. We must be near the pub. Yeah. I suppose we're over on the other side of the pub. The cog... Maybe the cog is public works. So I should try... It might be, like, right here. So if I go back around... Which I think makes that the manor. Pub. No. No. That's the manor, is it? That's the manor. Which is also locked and we do not have the key for it yet. However. Why would we go in the front door? Interesting. Uh, I can keep them on me. Throw them as a distraction. No, I can't pick up any of the food. How will I eat an entire deer leg? Mm. 
table and bits of carpet. My least favorite. I miss the crunch. Bathroom. Bathroom. Anything down the shitter? No. It's probably like a servant's quarters bathroom or something. Guest bathroom. The City Herald. 8th of the 26th, 833. Okay, apparently this medieval European place uses US date format, but alright. Unless there's 26 months. For fantasy purposes, Thief now has 26 months or more. Scarlet Leper Colony found in Craftsman's Ward. The Baron's police took immediate actions after uncovering a leper den hidden in several old cellars. While the lepers were easily surrounded, one of them managed to knock one of the officers restraining him out and escaped afterwards, said Captain Pearsall. The captain's the city's benevolent hero did not answer when we asked if, there, if this was somewhat related to the Blackbrook conspiracy, but he offered this advice before returning to Aldale. Keep your eyes open for any suspicious characters that aren't revealing their faces. Let it be known that while Craftsman's Ward is under lockdown, the thoroughfares of Shalebridge are under heavy patrols and, are, and all are asked to follow the em Emergentia Plague, Emergentia Plague laws while the fleeing leper is on the run. 1. Show your face clearly at all times. 2. Adhere to curfew. 3. Obey the parents' police or don't turn to panic. Five, report anything suspicious to the nearest watch stations. Here is another piece of advice followed to those who live in Shalebridge from Professor Wallstrand. Leprosy has its origins in an accumulation of bad humors. Lest the excess of humor f humoral fluid is evacuated via bloodletting, it can cause great harm to the human body. But an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Never approach the sick without a scented mask, nor place yourself between the sick and a source of heat as the heat attracts the unhealthy vapors. Take at least one ice-cold bath per week and eat well. Regular Trickster's Mustard clo mm. Leisters. I have no idea what that is. Are a must. Uh, Rumple Ball results. Ooh. Downlock, North Quarter, 1-0. Lapfire Hills in High Town, 4-3. Downtown East Town, 2-1. Hmm. The East City Westmen and the North City Rivals. This week's bear fights. Beaten, Olaf, 2418. Rusout and Getsy, 3233. Nipson Dower on Baron's Day. Oh boy. I have good money on Dower. See anyone come in here? I was crouched at the time, so they might. But yeah, I do hear him walking around. <coughs> Just getting ready. Oh yeah. That could have been easily avoided, but oh well. I should be able to... I don't know if more people come in here. Here, remember to take your cold bath. There you go. not strum. What if he drowns? Well, he better get better at swimming. Jeez. Thank God. We're saved. A 
Switch in. I mustn't. Okay, I'll come back up there. Oh, fine, you win. I'm coming, Harp. bit of gold. Yeah, it's more like it. Most esteemed merchants of Runswick South Quarter, I write this letter to all of you in order to sincerely apologize for Bailiff Baudrillart's men's dreadful lack of commitment to the protection of our peaceful district and, most of all, your livelihood. Such acts of vandalism will not go unpunished, and I take full responsibility for last night's incident. There is a reason why Runswick is South Quarter's most prosperous borough, and I intend to uphold its glorious reputation. Thus, I have decided, with the blessing of our good Lord Mayor and the noble, or sorry, our good Lord Mayor, the noble Vicont Baldry, to close the gate between Runswick and White Bell for the eleven from the eleventh toll of the bell until cocks crow, taking and taking effect immediately. Oh, that's cute. Policemen have been severely reprimanded and have received orders to sternly punish any trespasser caught during the night. I also intend to have my finest workers repair the damage White Bell Vermin caused to your shops and your fine items. I remain your humble servant, Luther Porden Esquire, Burgomaster of Runswick. Okay, so that's why the gates closed. There was a bit of vandalism recently. here and the reason all the guards are suspicious of me is because there's a curfew because a leper ran away and I'm probably concealing my face on account of the whole being a thief thing which just leads to extra suspicion but I'm out here I'm out after curfew anyway so they'd still be suspicious of me anyway That's a fancy door. I want it. No, it's coming. Hmm. I was afraid he was going to come through the door. Guess not, though. Oh, I don't like this room. I'm sure they will, bud. All right, he's down there. This is probably the guy that runs the estate. Mm. Catermole. <coughs> is that the Lord Cat? Termole. I hear spiders. How dare they insult my intellect like that? Someday they'll pay. Some hissy speed rays. Oh boy. That's gonna be fun to take care of. See that bottle there though. I'll just wait for him to go into his spider room. I assume they're his pets. I didn't hear the door thought not. I didn't hear the door close. He just opens it and looks in or something? And then closes it after him. Okay, we're gonna have to get him while he's down there. How dare they insult my intellect like that? Someday they'll pay. No, 
ir en sí mismo. Who's that there? In the darkness. Let's hope the cook has something better in store today than yesterday. Hmm. I don't know what's going on here, but whap. <laughs> the spiders anymore. Interesting. Oopsie daisy. It's definitely a familiar accent. To Jerome Clefton and his men, you have the nerve of calling yourself Master Foreman of the Guild of Renovators, but you and your shoddy workers are nothing more than scoundrels and charlatans. What in the trickster's fiery pits were you doing here? That's armpits, by the way. You were supposed to find a way to stop the mold from haunting this old house, but already I can see wet spots on the wallpaper. Uh, oh, sorry. Wet spots on the wallpaper I had installed three weeks ago, and, worst of all, they are already peeling in some places. This is unacceptable. You will not see any penny from me until you repair this odious error, or my name isn't Baptiste Holgerd Cattermole. You know what, Baptiste? I agree with you there. You, they, they should have done a better job. Mold is a serious issue. I don't see any, though. So, maybe you're full of shit. Who knows? Ooh, healing potion. Go back over here. Ah, ladder. I see. Perhaps we will find the source of the damp. Ah, <gasps> oh, you do. All right. Thanks for stopping by, Jen. I will be back eventually. I'm not sure exactly when, but Monday for sure. If it's any time other than that, I'll announce it. I don't see any spiders yet. I'm kind of worried that they're like above me. But yes, I'm. it's good to be back. I'm glad I'm streaming again. I'm very glad it's Thief as well. Oh, there he is. Oh, nope, that just annoyed him. Swap. Oh, missed. Missed again. I think I'm just hitting the box. God damn it. Where, where are, there you are, Jesus. Where'd you? Oh, there you are. There we go. Spiders, man. Okay, now I'll do that drink. Okay. What else we got going on up here? More chests. <sighs> Little Mary over here for playing cards. Nothing expensive though. And a fake door. A little pipe. Hmm, pipe that leads into an open window. Okay, heading back down. I'm gonna look in the uh, dining room. Didn't even 
close that. It's just clicking around. Okay. Oop. Ah, shit. Okay. That one's on me. I'm not even going to blame the game on that one. traps or anything anywhere is there hey there coming in to watch me do some thiefy stuff can't pick up those either oh well how's yourself so far it's great we're not very far in but it's extremely thiefy so far which you know is to be expected from that oh yeah i think i <laughs> i'd heard about that yeah our guy instead of slashing the banners just moves them aside that's just fun okay nothing in here i'm expecting more expensive stuff in this room. Oh well. Okay, I'm thinking not that way. Back up here and we can get behind the door. Up the ladder. I I bought Thief so many times. I'm playing on the GOG version, good old games version. But I have a Steam version as well. Nice. Yeah, I'd say I'd say if you get Thief, however you manage to get it, it's <gasps> definitely <sighs> worth it so far. Behind that one, it does kind of. I still had to download uh, T Fix, but you know, T Fix is an easy enough one. You just download it, tell it where your installation is, and then it fixes everything automatically. Uh, to play this, you do need to turn off the enhancement pack because apparently they're incompatible. Okay, uh, nothing in here so far. Just a water arrow. Oh. It's so fun. Trying to play 90s PC games is just... It's like a puzzle in itself. I have not been having a good time clinging onto ladders so far. Going down, at least. Also, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just... I'm just schmoovin'. Where am I? <sighs> no, seriously, where am I? <sighs> I really do just be going places. That's not fair. Doing the shale bridge cradle thing. I assume that's not an actual zombie. They're very annoying. Yeah, he's in he's in proper bits. That's not an actual zombie. Uh, 
There's not really anything else here, is there? Oh. Oh. Uh, you can have this back. Yeah, I think I want to get out of here. Enough of that. <sighs> Come on, out you, out you go. <sighs> Walking did no, he's walking the same. He didn't hear us. Okay. Back down onto the streets, I think, then. There we go. We lashed on that time. was locked. Uh, this one aside? It made the noise like it could. This window is open. Going on my oh fire escape ladder. Uh, and then that leads to here. Okay, yeah, I got it. I got it. I'm going to go down the stairs. And then just... Nothing in these bookshelves, right? colored but I think it's just a dead plant potted plant put it in the center of the room so they remember to water it okay now that we've done all that we can continue actually playing the level I can't wait to hit the public baths. I can't wait too. You really need it. Okay. Sorry there, sir.
do kind of want to go back. Yeah, because this this has got to be public works, right? That's right. Well, 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 well. Hmm. It's a little spooky. Yeah, I think there's some water texture fighting happening. Oh no, this does open up. I'm going to head back up and catch breath and then try again. Okay. And turn right. Oh, it does just lead into an open room. Okay. I was worried it wouldn't. came from there over here it's the first mission about an hour in hi Shane how you doing you haven't missed a whole lot but I am loving it so far <sighs> okay I'm getting spooky vibes I'm grand. Tired from work, but you know, happy to be playing thief. Is that a pig? Yep, that's a pig. What a cutie. Glad to see White Bell hasn't changed much. Uh -oh. It's still a lair for knaves and rogues like me. Good. Okay, so we got there. So now, obviously, we head back. Well, I mean, do we, mm, we probably don't actually need to. Like, Huggard Street. So... I think I saw that on a sign when we looked up there, so I think all we missed was over here. We can always go back if we need to, like, make up a loot goal or something. Not named on the map. Does he actually come down here or does he just stomp around upstairs? Sounds like he just stomps around upstairs. Someone there? What's that? Who goes? Whoopsie doop. Too much coffee this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. Seems clear. Nope, that guy's annoyed. <clears throat> Might be okay now? Nope. Yeah, 
wasn't saying much, but he was he was definitely looking. Ah oh, no. I just got back from working away from home for a little bit just barely in time for this to come out. Like, this is my first stream since the beginning of last month. Perfect timing. Didn't mean it at all, because nobody knew this was coming out. It sounds like he just stops there. Could take out that other torch and that'll give me a bit more room. There is an electric light up there though, so. Hmm. Oh, you go that way. Attention, men. A lockdown is now in effect in the neighboring district of White Bell. Passage to White Bell and Newmarket through this gate is prohibited after the 11th toll of the bell. Feel free to beat any trespassers. We are way behind our quotas and the bailiff is starting to get impatient. Tenant Herman. Okay, so we're in... This is the gatehouse or something then, is it? it explains why the... Uh, it explains the guard presence. Five years. Jeez, it's been so long. Guards key. Guards key. Guards key. That was open anyway. Didn't need to do that. It's only the other year that it was the twentieth anniversary. For it. What's with the lockdown? Don't know. Nobody tells me anything. Just that we're on the lookout for some thugs. Some thugs? I know where they are, and they're not near this gate. Why aren't we in the quarter proper? Who ain't going there? Don't want to find myself at the end of a sword that's not mine. Uh, I'll see you later at the alehouse anyway. Good thing I sort of just stuck around here for a bit. Don't get too impatient. Nothing to be seen now. He must have just caught me out of the corner of his eye. I started with... Okay, I was worried he was going to come too close. I started with Thief 2. Because my mom bought it. And that would have been in like... 2002, 2003? So that was my first time. Dice, bottles... There's a person out there.
Can we uh, can I actually open the gate? No. I suppose it wouldn't exactly be covert if I did. It's not like a shoot an arrow at the switch and get it to open kind of thing, is it? No, nope. definitely not. Which way is he? He's pointed the other way. Hello there, corpse. Mm, sucks to be you. Okay, there's up the tower. There's more stuff over here, though. Anything in here? Oh, okay. Uh, key? Gold. Perfect. 195. Well on our way to our goal of 850. You wouldn't believe what I saw just then. A small group of people is making a racket under the gate from Runswick to Newmarket. You should really find it a name. And we descended to investigate. Normally, we'd beat these guys who try to get to White Bell, but these people were hammers and they were really well armed, which is weird. They even had a preacher with them. You know, those lunatics with the light, with the light rods? They explained they were going to smite the heathens and blah 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 blah. Where do they think they are? White Bell isn't the central arse of the city. I don't know what is. No amount of hammers will change that. Elroy. Uh, that, uh... It's ominous. That doesn't bode well at all. Oh, yeah. Sound cards. Oh, you really needed them back in the day. Especially for this. You know, I, I'm i of the opinion that I'm not sure any game has sounded as good as the Thief games to this day. Like, yeah, there's fancier sounds. But Thief's the only one that's actually managed to get the sound propagation stuff going actually working I'm not sure even the games that emulate Thief like specifically try to emulate the sounds of Thief manage to do it as well as the originals where was it back here it was back here wasn't it yeah the tower Hmm. That looks interesting. What direction is that? Okay, east. Where the gate has some. Oh, well, might be the pub. Very exposed. <coughs> I'm just gonna kinda hope he doesn't come out here. I don't think he will. So just head back, please. Please head back. do it here. Gotta go all the way down. There. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Flash bombs. 237. Doing all right. I think we got another incursion from White Bell last night. A boxman was trying to pick up Messer Cattermole's door, so I gave him a chase and he ended up falling to his death through a derelict flight of stairs. Judging by his foul odor, odor he may have taken the sewer route. I think sending Solomon and Wayland down to investigate would be wise, and someone should remind the dense grease hand that his job is to stay in these sewers and not spend his nights drinking at the tavern by the court. Maybe we should send a letter to the quill pushers of the public works on the matter. Bottom line is, we can't have White Bell Vermin breaking into Runswick like that, especially with the lockdown and the bailiff's orders. Now here's the strange thing. He was carrying flash bombs and good lockpicks. That kind of material is way too expensive for White Bell, White Bell Gallo Bait. Mm -hmm, Gallo Bait's a good one. I should remember that. The lockpicks are broken beyond repair, but the flash bombs are still in shape. Put the corpse under the stairs in the courtyard if you want to investigate. I'm keeping the flash bombs for myself. I always wanted to have some of these anyway. One last thing. The lieutenant doesn't need to know about this. All he's going to do is throw a tantrum like a child and double our already doubled watch hours. I have enough of that, so you better keep your mouth shut. Sergeant Flannery. So that's who that was. Now, we were down in public works for a little bit there. Did that shadow move? No. We were down in public works and we saw a ladder leading up a smokestack. Someone behind. Yep, someone behind you. It's me, you tapper. Who are you saying that to? Boring, boring, boring. Okay, I don't really trust that door. I'm gonna move this guy. Red. Nothing much else of note, though. No, I didn't think so. No rope arrows yet, right? No. Maybe... <sighs> okay, yeah. And then... Oh, hello. jumped. There we go. Yes, Elroy isn't exactly what you'd call a smart chap. You've helped me without asking questions, so I'll reveal my secret. I've been stealing his wages for months now, as a prank. I cannot contain my laughter anymore when he looks at me and says, I wonder where me money has gone. By the trickster, surely my wages cannot vanish just like that. It's almost the end of the month, so he'll do our usual routine. So we'll do our usual routine. I'm not sure when and how this is going to end, but this is way too funny. Your friend, your friend, Blars. Well, it's mine now. Just trying to aim for the armor. There. <sighs> Actually, I could. I could jump across here, couldn't I?
Okay, I'm going for it. <sighs> oh dear. Nope, don't got nothing. Where they found the lepers, maybe? <laughs> Can't have him coming back up. Why do I only have four moss arrows? Didn't I pick up? Two or three before now? Did I start the level with one? Open window. Okay. <clears throat> Thought I saw something. Yeah, that wasn't gonna work. <gasps> I don't think I can actually get in there, but I only needed to pull that. 326. Yeah, we're doing all right. This is very bright. I don't like this. Someone should really do something about these awful street thieves. You mean the children? Of course I mean the children. They steal everything they see. Just this morning, one of them robbed me. And the lawmen did nothing bunch of tappers. They never do their job correctly. <laughs> Just the whole screen. Please, don't oh. hurt. <laughs> Sorry. Picked it up, put it in his pocket, ran off. Evening, sir. <laughs> Lever handle. What the? Oh God! Somebody there is not having a fun time. There, you can go there as well. Man, I be schmoovin'. I don't know where I'm schmoovin' to, but I'm doing it. Gong. Hello? Whoop. Is someone there? No. Nothing making noise now. Downlock Gate, Hugard Street, Hulter's Lane, Adrian's Bulwark. Hmm. Don't see anything saying Runswick. Is this just the same gate? No, it's not. No, this is miles away. I may be a little turned around. Oh, thank you for the follow, Shane. I'm near. No, he's fine. <clears throat> Thought I saw something. <clears throat> you did. You did see something. Puggard Street. Oh, okay. Back on Puggard Street. Uh, 
that don't sound good. Okay. Yeah, all right. I know where we are. Yeah, that's where we came up. Okay, that's a friend. Nope, oh, nobody here. What keeps flashing? Hello? Oh, there is someone there? Okay. He's not going to go get a haircut. Got it. That didn't kill him. Okay, we good. Fake door. Real door, fake door. Real door. Locked. Okay, spooky. What's going on down there, but I don't care right now. Yeah, I figured. Alright, we need the key for that, whatever that is. It seems like this is actually just the other side of the gate. He, he does turn. Yeah, there he goes. I'm just gonna just gonna do a quick little whoop. <sighs> Nope. Ah! Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Come back over here a little bit. encounter of every time I have to do that. This passage to Runswick and west-south quarter, west-south-southeast quarter, which is on the north side, is closed at night. No citizens will be admitted unless they secure passage from the night sergeant. Fighter of the day sergeant. Think that'd actually work. Okay, 
this one's got to work with guard's key, right? No. North Northwest side? No, no, that's in the east. Yeah, okay, we're just back here. Is this actually open? I forgot to check. Oh, I do. Look at that. This is just right back at the start of the mission, isn't it? Where are you going, mate? Okay. I probably could have just run up and got him. Should have. Should have just run up and got him. Yeah. Okay. That's the pub there. <sighs> Old Duke and Cherbler. What? Are those names or titles? Is he a chair builder? Chair builder? Chair builder? Is that not just a carpenter? He specializes in chairs? A short declaration. Nonsense. This is the worst birthday ever. <coughs> Holy shit, it's a real word? <sighs> and they said video games can't be educational. Okay, I'm gonna check out that public works mysterious ladder going up this way. No, where was it? Here. I want to see what this does. Oh, it goes into this room. chimes 26 sounds 833 whale 30 vials 480 gold azalea extract 24 vials 240 leech collector 317 cheap alcohol 4 bottles 19 19 silver pieces oh azalea extract 24 vials 240 copper pieces silver pieces needles 4 pouches 24 silver pieces the copper chalice is an ale house to forget. I saw the tenant spit in my drink again. I guess the poor sod is still thinking I killed his grandmother. I'm a barber surgeon, not a damn apothecary. I can't do nothing against the putrid fever. Yeah, it's fair. Hello, chain. I 
hear someone. Well, it's got a custom sound. I think I read that. Collar is far too high. Yoink. Nice house you got here, though. Mm, what are we thinking? Prop or actually worth something? I'm thinking prop. Oh, no. Okay. Worth something. 391. Still a little ways off. <sighs> Nothing up there, right? Yeah. Okay. Slippy chain. This room. Nothing out that way. Can't push that aside. It sounds like we're just going back down here. fairly thorough with this area so uh, continue north which is in a roughly this way direction the stairs. Right, there's nothing this way. But if we were to head in a roughly this way direction, We'd mostly end up back where we were before. Where's this now? Restaurant? Bread. A pox upon these farmers. The flour costs twice its usual price now. Desperate times, desperate measures. You know how fat Verrill is still in business despite his wine being the most repugnant stuff you've ever tasted? That sneaky taffer asked the glassmaker's guild to deliver him bottles with a bounced bottom so he can keep a little for more. We should do something like that too. Instead of buying cheap flour, methinks we should add something to the dough so we can keep a little more for bread. Not gravel, though. The last doer who did that this got burned alive in his own oven by an angry mob. What do you think of adding roots and straw? We'll discuss it in the morning when I come back from my brother's place. You could try sawdust. Apparently they used to do that a lot.
And Kane will definitely keep him coming back. Here, oh, there he is. Oh, shit. That's a rogue. <coughs> it's just a normal card. Tenement's key. So we're here. Maybe he wasn't a bad guy, maybe he's just the... Hmm, I could always sell this to some fellow who lost his sense of smell. <laughs> Mr. Sherburn, I have received your complaint. You accuse me of cutting my liquors with seawater, but I assure you it is in fact only pure and fresh water I take from the well every morning. Please gaze at the extent of my efforts. I only want the best for my clientele. However, such rumors could very well be the end of small shops like mine, and this is why I offer you this little gift in exchange for your silence. Please accept this modest present. It, re it represents my most sincere apologies. A 12-year-old bottle of creme bleu directly from my personal cellar. P rest assured that this one here isn't cut with water. Lumley, gin cellar and occasional sommelier. Let's see, let's, let's see what else we got going on. That's fake. What? Why? What? Yes? Hello? I mean, yeah, sure. It's spooky as shit that there's a chair behind there. <laughs> Sommelier's more like some smell off ye. Yeah. Nine, halfway there. Sort of. Beef Slugger. Schwab be helpful for once and buy us some meat. Nothing too expensive. We ain't rich. Something like chitterlings or better. A slink. Just can't eat another spoon of frumental. Better be careful though. I think Jeb ratted us to the watchdogs. Rupert ended up ended up in the stocks yesterday. I've hidden a fizzle arrow in a gutter in dog leg if bad things happen. Fizzle arrow. Okay, dog leg. Is that an actual name of some place, or is it thieves can't for something else? Map. Oh, hello, suspicious rafters. <sighs> They're just here for ambiance. Guylet, someone told me you're looking for some muscle to pummel some faces at the orphanage. Very bad idea, my friend. Very bad idea. The guy who owns this place, he's got his greasy fingers in every pie in Newmarket. Where it is, he even has some connections with the wardens. Think about it, man. Losing your purse to some damn pickpocket isn't that bad. Just forget about it. I'll pay you a drink at the tavern tomorrow if you want. Besides, Cruller Stooges came in early this morning to ask me if I saw any suspicious guys loitering about. Well, I told them, aside from the usual beggar regurgitating his nappy ale... His nappy ale? Uh, okay. Through his teeth right in front of my windows and the smelly peddler I paid you to keep out of my street. Nothing out of the ordinary. What a bunch of useless taffers. Key? Tenement's key? Ah, and we're back here. Okay. 
game. In the event. <sighs> there were some noises there I didn't like. It's fine. Absolutely fine. I'm just getting Shalebridge Cradle flat and flashbacks. It's fine. All right. It's okay. Nope, 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 nope. That statue wasn't there before, I don't think. Oh god, it's what's going on over there? That's not turning around to look at me, is it? Up a minute, I'm busy. Just the wind, I guess. No, okay, it's not. No, it's still turned the same way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Mm hmm. <gasps> in there yeah they're doing fine Let's just wait here for the guard to come by, and we'll take care of him. Lumley, gin seller, and occasional sommelier. Oh, I, I get it. I thought he signed the note, Plumley. Like, best regards. But that's his name. I get it now. I thought he was just being weird. Four nine six. What's our eight fifty? Dogleg Alley. Okay. So this is Dogleg. So there should be a quote-unquote fizzle arrow somewhere around here. In a gutter in Dogleg. That's what he meant. Whoop. Noise makers do fizzle. Seems clear enough now. <laughs> nope, that's not working. Okay, back here. No. Nope, I forgot this doesn't go anywhere. 
Hi, sir. Ow! That's fair. way though? Or is it just head that way? Well, he swung good. Come on, I'm just gonna make myself a little... Isn't actually as effective as I was hoping. It's fine though. Probably should have gone up that ladder that I passed. Yeah, that's a couple of hammerites and a hammerite mage. Which we heard about in an earlier readable. <sighs> Can't get through there. Maybe I can... Maybe somebody comes by and I can pickpocket them? Just seems like there shouldn't be... This shouldn't be here unless there's a reason for it. But I'm not hearing anyone. So... I guess it's useless. gonna leave that guy. He's just doing his job. I'm soaked and my back hurts. But that's better than toiling in the old workhouse. I suppose it is. A good place to dump this guy. Yeah, that'll do it. Is there a, oh, there's a guy in there, is there, or is he, I can't see him, down lock, down lock, down lock gate, we're here, yeah, that makes sense. What a toiled and wasted life, sitting here, come on. Yeah, I get you, man. Oh, Oopsie daisy. And up again. I'm sick of eating old fermental and dry pumpernickel every day. <sighs> Bit of verticality. Ooh. Okay, this uh, getting back down is going to be fun. Hold on. Yeah, that didn't work. Hold on, we might be at this for a minute. Oh, 
that's where that guy was. Get onto this ladder. Okay, good. Ah! You know what? I'm gonna take it. It's the only bit of food I have left, right? It's all just okay, one healing. Have a quick look over here. Idle hands are the tricks of fools. I get the feeling this is going to be like where we exit. Either that or we have to go back to where we started. It's just the guy that's up there. Yeah, I didn't think so. Canal, sewer. Check that out in a minute. Who's there? Nice love. God dang it. Tougher. <laughs> given up that easily, has he? No. Yeah, he's still searching. recommend it. Okay, I think he's back. He's back to patrolling. This is probably a terrible place to stand, actually. Try and 
cat. Yeah. <sighs> Was that supposed to hurt? Well, it definitely hurt me. Ugh. Yeah. I agree. something. Need insert. I want to, I'm going to test something actually. I hear one of the new behaviors is people being able to wipe away moss if they notice it so will he do it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, seems like he doesn't really care there's a guy over here help me <clears throat> there is hi Three tapestries, one eaten by moths and another tainted with a strange liquid. Two tea warbler? Oh, eleven. Eleven tea warbler. Small armchair made of oak, twenty-two. Cordes, twelve vials badly cleaned, fourteen. Map of Tutocomb's tomb, never heard of it, eighty-nine. Six cogs and two pipes, twenty-three. Donation of 50 coins to the illustrious New Market Pawnbrokers Guild. Some 159.50. We haven't found anything behind a tapestry yet, but. They were rare enough in the original game. I'm not expecting them behind everyone here. Okay, check out this thing. Several proclamations made by Messer Belworth, alderman of the Ward of Sweeper's End, with the benediction of Sire Penthorn, burgomaster of Whitebell. Prevention of dysentery. The inhabitants of the district of Whitebell are earnestly advised not to drink any waters from the fountains or the wells which have not previously been boiled. Beware of the wild sweels. Please be advised that the wild sweels infestation has spread as far as Aldreach Earth Farthing. Rabies is primarily a disease of the sweel. New tax. Let it be known that on the 24th of Sains, a new tax on cured meats, garum, and ship biscuits will be in order. Cured meat shall now cost six silver, garum five... Fifty? Fifty? that a D or a zero? No, that's a D. 5D. the hell is D? Whatever. 5D a flask and ship biscuit 5D per bunch. What a child. Hear all, hear all. Let it be known that the judgment of the... Mi oh, we already read this one. Yes, we've heard this one. 
Hang drawn quartered. What you doing down there, buddy? I kind of hope a sweel shows up. Hammers and white bell? Just my luck. Well, we did read about it earlier, but yes. If I remember correctly, a sweel was like a concepted creature that never made it into the game. I think they're like, um, I think they're like ferrets or something. I heard one of our fathers lost his rosary beads. I shall return. Man, these hammers always are losing their dang rosaries. Oh, I don't like that. <coughs> Evening, everyone. What are you all doing here? Please go away. Spill. Ha. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, no. Not working. That is not working. Evening. You're going to have to chase me too for a bit. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to get both of them. I, and I guess if this guy isn't going to do anything... Gotta take out the mage. <sighs> Gotta just run up to get him. Good thing I didn't, though. Going back. Okay, he's just going back. Excuse me here. Sorry about this. Stick you there. Uh, dysentery drawn and quartered. Yeah, dysentery drawn and quartered. Abraham Court's Alms House. Looks like it's seen better days, but so has the entire district. That's a fake door. That goes there. Okay. Doesn't sound good. Okay, nothing there. Hold on. Don't, God damn it. Maybe it's not worth it going up there at all. What was up there? Was it a bit of gold or something? I thought it was a healing potion. Let's see if I can just... Hmm. 
not gonna bother. Don't need it. Just play better. Just get good. Since we're in a market. White bell bellows. That sounded familiar. Did I see that on something? Okay, we'll go there's that. Pawn shop. Well, even if I didn't see it. Part of that is zombie flesh. Probably not good. I can see why there's a boil water notice. I'm not sure even boiling is going to do much for that. Oh yeah, so we heard about... We heard about orphans stealing stuff. Pickpocketing people, mugging people. We're gonna go visit our friend who's running the orphanage, so clearly he's got like an Oliver Twist kind of thing going on. You know, like an army of pickpocketing thief orphans. Not one. There we go. Where's he gone? Oh, there you are. They've done a number on this area. Lots of stuff burned down. Or closed. Or both. Highway. I can't see down there. Broadhead and note. Hinser, stop being a sloomy deadbeat and call for a chimney sweeper. Yesterday I used a long cane to see if something was blocking the conduit since the smoke was coming out inside and it was and it was full of bistra. Bister? Bister. I fear a backdraft. It will be the great fire of 782 all over again if something bad happens with this drought. You're too young to remember, but believe me, it was the most dreadful thing. The city was glowing like the trick trickster's fiery pits for days just because some fool-born taffer used too much pitch in his firewood. Yeah, 
do always remember to clean your chimneys. Especially as we're getting into the colder months and people are going to be starting to light their fires again. I think we actually have a fire going on downstairs as well. I half expected that to kill me. This would be so much more interesting if I could see where I was going. close 833 okay don't see myself getting out again that way so Rotten Road. It doesn't say Rotten Row anywhere on our map, but... direction is someone following me you answer yes it was nothing hmm. see what did she tell me to bring something home? or others he read that might be it clothes do you move or you just you just stay there don't you An hour or a day? It's not very much either way, really, but. You know. What's he doing? Perhaps he's just lost or late. Hopefully, he didn't meet with the hammers. Hey, it's not. Is it true Sutter stole my coins? Nope, it's me. And you will have to pay if you want them back. You have to. You have to this fat pay. pockets will feed me for at least a week. I just can't you have to pay to get your coins back. Stupid coins. Oh, there we go. This time it's serious, boys. The boss, the boss's ticklers were waiting for me at my house to tell me the boss don't want any of these so-called downwinders roaming freely around White Bell no more. So the next prigger we catch on our turf. Okay. We stuff his mouth with rocks and we smash his face until no more teeth stand. They'll regret having set foot outside of downtown. We must make an example. Cruder. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I'm getting up to him. What's that? Is someone talking? Yeah, that one's a, that one could be a little dangerous. Oop. Dahlquist should be in here, in this inconspicuous orphanage. Knowing the guy, it's a front operation. And I wouldn't be surprised if he uses the kids to do his dirty work. Yeah, well, we were sort of assuming. I'm gonna run up and read that note. Good punch, 12 gold. Low reach, handshake. Beg pardon? 14. Nose broken, both eyes blacked, 20. Black jacked out and swim in the sewers, 25. Stabbed upon the body, 35. Ask for crueler at the Gosp's Bridal Pub. No questions asked.
I got caught by the guard over there. Well, where are you hiding now? I got caught by that guy as well. An honest citizen isn't afraid of the law, is he? Only rats hide in the dark. Uh, that's how we get up there. So, yeah, you are well. Hmm. That's a couple of people that know where I am. Step out, you lily livered son of a hammer. Yeah, I was hoping they'd give up before I had to use the flash bomb. I knew that wouldn't work. I know this place. I find your sorry time. Boys! Hello, corpse. Beg pardon. Hey. if this led us into the orphanage it just might actually yep okay pleasant bedtime stories for all little masters and mistresses by Joseph Queen Bradle the creeper stalker he's a very scary monster that likes to gobble children just like you when they're home alone but here's the tip when he is inside a building he can only walk on a youngsters footprints Mark my words, if you don't want him to swallow you whole when you are playing by yourself, take off your boots before you enter the house. Finicky Vicky. She's an ugly cannibal who likes to chomp on children's meat, but she hates yucky gruel. So if you don't want her to come and get you, eat as much porridge as you can. The only way to keep her far away from you. Murky Larry. When the thick black smoke comes from the factories, Murky Larry drifts through the fog. Little ones who stay outside for too long get a nasty cough, and as they hack and walk, they hear a strange echo in their own coughing. This is Murky Larry casting a curse on, a curse on them. If they don't return home quickly, they will start hacking so much blood they will die. No. Oh. Brings back memories. Oh. Yeah, I'd heard that we're able to pick up spider corpses now. Uh, is the front door barred or is it... I wonder if that's a... Like, like was it alarmed or something? Or is it just... Dead bolted. It's probably just a dead bolt, actually. How's yourself? I'll come talk to you in a minute. Yeah, even the player model looked like he didn't really want to be picking it up. Holding it a mile in front of himself. Okay, nothing else to do. Hey there, friend. How you doing? For the last time, ye idiots. I don't want to be disturbed. Leave me alone and tap off. Calm down, Dahlquist. It's me. Hugh? Is that really you? How? When? By the trickster. I didn't know you were back in the city. Yeah, I arrived a few days ago. 
Let's get this some better light on you. Have you seen it managed by yourself? Thank you. You did it yourself. You can't believe how glad I am to see you. Bunch of lackwits I'm working is with. Is that your is that ah, your belly sticking yeah, out or I is managed, it part of your pants? But the work is as dull as it can be. Oh, but I say, I was actually looking for someone who could carry a job. You're the best, and you always come in the nick of time, you sneaky bastard. So, what do you say? Willing to help your old pal out? Sure, why not? Well, all right. I'm all ears. Hey, first level down. He's just wearing one of those crop tops that all the men in the 80s wore. Well, there's not really much point in saving it there, but... Stats. One hour, 50 minutes, 54 seconds, 850 loot out of 1,687. I did not do well. Four of eight. Okay. All right. I... I'm going to call it there. Oh, boy. I'm loving this. This is a really good mission so far. Or campaign. Yeah. What's the intro? Did they change it? Ooh, they did. Hello. Oh, stuff from the Book of Ash. This is perfect. No, no, it's a spooky skeleton. So, yeah, okay. Between the skeleton there and the quote from the book, the book of Ash earlier, we're are we gonna be fighting the necromancers that were meant to make an appearance in Thief Two, like the evil offshoot of the Hand Mages? All right, well, I'm intrigued anyway. Okay. That's that's it. That's it for today. I will I'll definitely be back on Monday. Whether or not I do anything over the weekend we'll find out. Probably not, but I might. If I do, it'll probably be more Palea because I'm I'm really missing that game. I want to get back to it. Apparently the be able to sit down on chairs update is either out now or coming back coming soon. Yeah, I I have been very much neglecting uh, stealth games recently, so I just need to play more of them in general. And you're ordering your GPU tomorrow. Nice. Hopefully that's your computer sorted and we can get back to GTFO, because I'm also missing that. GTFO soon. Hell yeah, brother. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here. Since it's my first day back in a while, let me see if I can send you on to anyone. Who is on at the moment? Yeah. Perhaps somebody playing Thief. Wouldn't that be a thing? Be 
you get gold, perhaps. Well, there's me. I could raid myself. Nope. Okay, I have literally all of the viewers for Thief Gold at the moment. Nobody else is playing it. Um, what about the other thieves? Thief 2, Metal Age. Nobody playing at all. That's fair. That's fine. Hmm. Well, dang. Don't really have any friends on at the moment. Nobody's playing Thief. But most viewers I've had in a while, and I'm going to have to just not send them on to anyone. Oh, well. Always next time. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, we'll obviously be back with more of this on Monday. So, until then, I guess, um, bye-bye for now. <laughs>